All right, so we're ready. We have all the probes inside and outside. I have my meter here ready to get in rush. So I'm gonna get started, put the disconnect in. All right, so like I said, these are Bluetooth wireless tools. So I have all my readings here in the field piece app. So that's my in rush. Gonna grab my amp for the condenser. We'll go ahead and save them and record them. Right now I'm grabbing the outdoor fan amp and then now I'm gonna go ahead and grab compressor amp. I already did my capacitor measurements when I had to disconnect off. So basically what all this means is we're looking at how running the electrical wise off the data plate, it gives you from the factory, the ratings they should be under. So the fan motor should be under 1.7 and it came in at 1.25, which is good. The compressor 19.8, 11.07. And then the inrush, this is like lock rotor amp. So still under the factory uh, rating so no potential you know lockout for this compressor as of right now so as you can see also i have my probes from inside the temperature split system uh split coming at 25 which is great across the coil static pressure 0.35 total which is good we like to see under 0 0.6 0 0.7 depending on the system size here refrigerant levels we have the suction the liquid line sub cool superheat basically what all this means is for the pressures refrigerant if you're properly charged, if your compressor is undercharged or overcharged, we're able to tell whether it's a TXV or a fixed Orpheus inside the coil. We go off the superheat for fixed Orpheus and subcooling for the TXVs. And right here we have the, the chart from the factory for subcooling. This goes off subcooling and basically this is the, the air going into the coil, which is basically the outdoor temperature. And then on top, you just got to go off your size. This is for Linux. Every other brand is, might be a little different. And then it tells us exactly what the subcool should be at. So right now, this is a 48. So we're going off right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab temperature going into the condenser coil. So right now it's 85, the air entering. So we go 48 then 85. So right here it's saying around, it should be eight degrees and your sub cool is around eight. It could be plus or minus one, it says right here. So it's 7.2. So, you know, this one's perfectly charged. It's not under or over. So that's basically how you check if the refrigerant levels are good. If you have any restrictions, liquid line restrictions, stuff like that. And then also you just compare it to your temperature split and it should all, you know, be, you know, accurate at that point. And then we go ahead, put this in PDF file for the customer and we send it over in the email. That's pretty much it for the maintenance, a little more in detail, but yeah, you know, give us a call, get a maintenance check and, you know, we can answer anything you may have, any concerns or questions.